Before we get to what the hackers are asking for in terms of ransom, <laughs> what, what do we know as far as what was taken here? Um, I think, you know, this is now the talk of uh, the entire Chinese IT industry. I think it's been for a couple of days. What, what's being speculated upon is obviously the perpetrators and what they actually want. Um, as far as we can tell, these unknown hackers have posted um, 23 terabytes of data. That's a lot of data. One line, at, and it's offering it all up for sale at what is basically a, a pittance, uh, $200,000, essentially 10 Bitcoin. Uh, but in so doing, and assuming that this is true, in so doing, what they have done is exposed kind of the reach of data collection efforts in China. They have possibly uh, exposed some vulnerabilities in data management systems, and they have essentially uh, shot uh, the entire industry. Now, um, now, now, just to just to go back to the point that we don't, we can't verify the authenticity of this information, but the IT industry is mostly convinced that this is legit. Edwin, have we seen many domestic breaches like this, or at least ones that have been reported? Because we know that a huge amount of data and surveillance is collected on citizens in China. Hmm. But there are regulations surrounding uh, you know, required disclosure for cybersecurity breaches. But in many cases, the system is not very transparent. There have been scattered reports of massive hacks uh, over the past a half decade to a decade or so, but these tend to trickle out pretty sporadically. And again, there is it's pretty opaque. There isn't really a reporting mechanism that the public can tap into. I think, uh, you know, we've reported in 2016 as well as last year, there were massive data leaks, but nothing on this scale, which is exactly what sort of uh, sending shockwaves uh, through the industry and sending a lot of people scrambling to find out uh, how, how deep and how far this extended.